Feel like your projects are all over the place? The smart sheet can bring clarity and efficiently to your workflow. Today I'll show you how to get started step by step. So first of all, what I need to do is to understand the smart sheet if you don't know what exactly is this application. But this is a cloud-based platform that combines the functionality and spreadsheets with advanced project management features. This is perfect for organizing tasks, the timelines, and team collaboration in all in one place. So to set up your actual smart sheet, just go directly into the link down below in the description so you can have an account totally for free and you might be having access for 30 days totally for free. Once you have created your account directly here into the smart sheet, you might be prompted to generate, of course, a few questions about your company, your brand, or your workflow. So here we are now into the actual dashboard of the smart sheet. Basically, what we can do now is to start creating a new sheet. So from the dashboard, uh, what I wanted to focus here is to start a new project, program or process. So basically here we have a bunch of templates for our role in, in my case, project management tools. You can go and view all the templates. And here was a solution template to look out for a specific template would you like to use. For example, I'm going to focus in today into education. And I have a simple to-do list, a product with work breakdown, and so much more. So choose the one that best suits for your needs. And now go for the option that says create from the template. So inside creating for the template, you have the setting up of the simple to-do list. And now inside here, we have now the template with all of this information. So basically here, what you can do is to check out here my actual info. We have the add button where we can add sheets, report, dashboard, in a specific folder or the import with elements. Something else that we can do is to start by configuring the list by the status, for example. So check out here, I have my list. I have information by default. You can delete this information if you wanted to, or you can start totally from scratch. I'm gonna focus here into the doodle list, and I'm gonna change my grid view for a gut view, for example or the list by status. So there's a few elements, of course, that you cannot change uh, depending on which is the actual data columns that you're currently having. So I'm gonna select all of them, okay, and get started. Now, if you wanted to add a column or some data, we can customize this column. Let's close this. Here have name, have notes created by and created. So let's say, for example, they're gonna go create my first um, sheet as a board. And inside here, I have the untitled information. As you can see, now we have the you know, started in progress complete. I can add a new lane. For example, let's say uh, ideas. And inside, I can create my very first task. For example, here into progress, for example, let's say they create a YouTube video. And if I click here into this element of the call options, I have to add the cut below, uh, above. I can edit the details, for example, uh, the name, the primary column, the status, the start date, and the end date. Now, we can assign a task in collaboration if you want to. You can use the assign a to column to add some team members, depending, of course, into what is the actual timeline that you chose. For example, here, uh, inside the grid view, I can go here for end date, insert a column to the right, and go for down here. Let's look out for created by. Okay, and I can assign people in here. Now, into the using the fields and the filters, uh, the smart sheet is for uh, multiple views for your data. We can use the grid view as we are seeing here. We can change it for the card view, for example, really easily for like any Kanban styles and the calendar view for scheduling. So you can also. Uh, apply filters to focus on a specific task to end the team members directly here from the upper side. Even what you can do is to change the compact view so you don't see like a lot of information there. And lastly, have the automation of the workflows. So this is for people who wanted to save a little bit of time. So basically the workflows or the automation can be helping you to do stuff, uh, let's say the more easier and faster way. So if I focus here directly into my work applications, we can see that inside here we have an app installed 
The planning of every level of your organization can be appearing here inside the resource management. Unfortunately, this is not available for the free version. So the balance workloads, the track time with easy, the forecast with confidence is for a actual trial. You can request a few trial if you wanted to, so you can try this out totally for free. But this, of course, is totally optional. And lastly, here we do have the work application. The work application, the R application that you have installed it that can be helping you to make your work effortlessly. And basically, that's how we can actually use the smart sheet. So we have it to do list of tasks. We have a report of the dashboard. There's a lot of workspaces that you can use to work on and to track all your information. So that's how we can actually use this application. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great applications like this. And hopefully with all that being said, we can see you next time. See you soon.